A lot of people think that airbags go off in every collision, but that's not the way airbags are designed to operate. Airbags are designed to inflate or deploy in certain types of collisions. And if you have a collision that is in the wrong location of your vehicle or in the wrong direction, the engineers and the federal government have decided that airbags uh, should not go off because there are risks associated with airbags deploying. For example, if you get rear-ended, your airbags on your steering wheel and your front dashboard are not expected to inflate. A lot of people will call and say, hey, I got rear-ended, my airbag didn't go off. That's right, that's what's supposed to happen. Um, other reasons why your airbag may not go off is that the force of the collision is not severe enough. Uh, because there is a risk of uh, uh, injury when an airbag does employ, just by virtue of the inflation, the chemicals used, that the vehicle manufacturers program their airbags so that they only deploy in collisions that are deemed to be severe enough to cause injury. So if you get in a little fender bender where your bumper's dented in, even though you're hit in the front, your airbag probably is not going to go off. Each vehicle is a little bit different. Each vehicle manufacturer fine tunes their airbags for certain forces and certain directions where an airbag should deploy. Additionally, if you're seat belted or not, it has a, an in, We'll back up on that one. Uh, if you're seat belted, uh, your airbag has a different threshold to determine whether it should inflate or not. Uh, if you're wearing your seat belt, the car's computer system will sense that you are restrained and therefore you're protected from certain low volume injuries. Whereas if you're not seat belted, it's more um, important for an airbag to deploy. Uh, there are other reasons, mechanical reasons and defect reasons why an airbag may not deploy. Uh, one of the largest recalls in automotive history in America was the Takata airbag where the inflators were defective. Uh, this caused dramatic deployment of airbags, which caused a lot of injuries, but also caused some airbags to not deploy as well from an internal defect. Sometimes wiring defects or wiring shorts in the computer system can cause an airbag not to deploy. Uh, we've had cases where um, vehicles have gone in for repairs radiator repairs, front end repairs, where the repairman will unknowingly nick or cut or damage the wires to the sensors in the airbag. So that although the crash was severe enough for the airbag to uh, inflate, the computer never gets the signal because of a damaged sensor. There's, uh, those are some of the reasons why an airbag may not deploy in a crash.